Is up front, the Gophers, they've improved to 9-0 for the first time since 19. 19- Four. They are wow. in control of the Big Ten West, and they are primed to make a major move up the rankings this week. They will, and, and they should because this is a quality win, really their first quality win. I think you can you make that case based on what they've done so far with the schedule. I think it's one of the reasons why the College Football Playoff Committee looked at them as an undefeated team but had them ranked at 17. That, that's going to change, and I think what they showed me was they were able to exploit a weakness within this Penn State defense that's pretty much as good as it gets in college football with the exception of their secondary. And that's really the strength of this Minnesota team. This trio of wide receivers on the outside between Ottman, Bell, Bateman, Johnson, and the ability for Tanner Morgan to get them the football out in space to allow them to make big plays. Give Minnesota a ton of credit for the job P.J. Fleck and the staff have done getting them prepared, but also the players for capitalizing on this big-time opportunity. And, and Matt, as you kind of talked about, look, at the end of the day, Penn State didn't play well enough on either side of the football to get a win, mm-hmm. but, but give Minnesota a lot of credit. They yeah, did, did, did a great job in both phases, right? Minnesota was able to come up with some stops when they needed them most. In the red zone, you keep Penn State out of the end zone. That's points off the board. We've all seen how quickly and how fast Penn State can score points. And, but yet at the same time, Minnesota was up for the task. They executed. They got turnovers as well, which took points off the board. But again, just a great job playing complimentary football on both phases. Now, this is, this is really important. So this is the first time I've had a chance to watch. You know, I've always been focused on a team. Now I'm watching all these teams. We watched Minnesota uh, barely beat South Dakota State, get in a rock fight with Fresno State, and barely beat Georgia Southern 35-32. Yeah. And you watched them play early, and you thought, and then you started seeing this team develop, and that's a tribute to that coaching staff, Coach Fleck and that staff. <clears throat> They're really good. I noticed yeah. that about three to four weeks ago I was doing a BTN segment. I started, I ran it back and said, that's Minnesota. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, their skill, I think mm-hmm. Brady said yeah. it earlier, I don't, I don't think it's the best in the Big Ten, but you can't tell me it's not the best. Yeah. What well, they did today against a good Penn State defense, those, and those are NFL players now. Yeah. When you see the size and the speed and mm-hmm. guys make a play, They've done a heck of a job at Minnesota. And, and so, I think well, I'll say quickly, uh, yeah. one of the reasons for the growth, too, is it's a lot of that sophomore class. You see yeah. Tanner Morgan, Bateman's a part of that. You look at the yeah. right side of their offensive line. So that's the other way to measure coaching staff, yeah. development of how does, it, uh, how does it go throughout the season. Because I'm telling you, at the beginning of the season, I, sh- I kind of said, let's move on. Who's going to really be in the West? And uh, You're rolling so the boat real. now. You're rolling the boat, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, think, I think that's why when I look at this Minnesota team and I look who they have left to play, Iowa and Wisconsin – that's a bad matchup for Iowa and Wisconsin defensively because yeah. you talk about the speed, right? And, yeah. and those yeah. receivers are, are NFL and the size, guys and size. The size. Of those receivers. And we know Wisconsin had trouble with Ohio State and the speed on the outside and the skill players. So I would just keep an eye on that. I think Minnesota has an advantage against those two teams. Let me ask you this. Yeah. To your point, can Iowa or Wisconsin match what at least Minnesota can, both running and throwing the football? That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't think they can. No. So. The yeah. X yeah. factor no. is going to be the weather, too. Minnesota That's true. has That's to true. throw the ball. Yeah. And it, I've been in Minnesota. They can run it a November. little bit. We played in Minnesota in February one time. <laughs> <laughs> Four inches of snow, you were throwing the ball in it. And I, think, I think, to your point about the college football rankings, it'll be really interesting to see how far they move up. Yeah. There's six, if we see the graphic here, there's six two-loss teams ahead of them, and then Baylor with that undefeated team, and that, and that win again today on the road against TCU, but triple overtime. And Brady, I, I, like, how far do they move up? I think you have to make the case somewhere in the 10 to 11 to 12 Have range. to be top 10. Well, because Kansas, they, Kansas, finally have that, they finally have that – quality resume win against yeah. the top four teams. So uh, a lot of the football left to be played, but I think Minnesota proved today that they need more respect. It's, yeah. it's going to be fascinating because you've got uh, Penn State who lost, Alabama who lost, right? I don't think they're going to obviously move ahead of those no, teams. They're yeah. not going to drop that far. But, Kansas State lost. They're going to move ahead of them. Mm-hmm. And then it becomes of the teams that have won and, and maybe they don't win as impressive enough or you look at the resume with two losses. You know, do they leapfrog them now just because of this, this one very, very much quality win or do they wait until they beat the Iowas, they beat the Wisconsins to then really leapfrog them up into potentially the top ten, top, 10, top eight, top six? They deserve be- to be in the top ten right now, though. For sure. They deserve to be in the top ten. That's a quality win over a really good football team, a top four team. Are you gonna be- they deserve to be in the top ten. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here. College football on Fox.